Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about some cool new stuff that's come out on the new Netflix Jurassic World animated series that's going to be coming out soon. In this video, I wanted to talk about all of the new information we know on Camp Cretaceous. <laughs> So Camp Cretaceous was something that got teased in 2019 with a trailer that featured a pretty good looking velociraptor in an incredibly lifelike environment. A poster came out alongside this trailer that featured some more stylized characters standing in front of the iconic Jurassic gates on Isla Nublar. Now ever since that initial reveal, there's been a lot of talk about what exactly Camp Cretaceous is and whether or not it would somehow be worked into the larger movie canon. And while we don't really have an answer for that as of right now, we do know a whole lot more about the project project than we did even just a few days ago. So early this morning, a friend of mine named Lewis, who goes by the name Jurassic underscore Korea on Instagram, sent me this, which happens to be our first official look at what the human cast will look like in the new show. From what I can tell, the lead character here, Darius, seems to be this dude standing in the middle. He's been described as a dino nerd that loves the animals and some of the promotional material, so I'm guessing we'll be spending a lot of time with him. Just don't tell Wheatley what the kid's got around his neck. Now, another surprise that came with this image happens to be that Carnotaurus that we can see heavily featured in the top left corner of the picture. This animal has been named Toro by the park, and you'll obviously be able to tell him apart from the others due to the massive facial scar that we can see has been cut across his face. Personally, I think he looks really cool, but I wonder how they're going to utilize him in a children's show. With any luck, this will totally be like what the Clone Wars was to the prequels, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, speaking of Carnotauruses, there actually happens to be a rumor going around in relation to these animals that I find to be pretty awesome if it turns out to be true. So most of the characters and dinosaurs that we know are going to be featured in this Netflix series have had toys made for them by Mattel. And an image of a certain ability that these dinosaurs had from the novels is alluded to quite heavily from this image that we can see will go on sale sometime when the show is released. For those of you who don't know what you're looking at here, this is a Carnotaurus toy that has been deliberately made to look translucent, just like the Indominus Rex figures that try to make use of that animal's camouflage ability. Now, that camouflage ability from Jurassic World was actually something that first appeared in Michael Crichton's second Jurassic novel, The Lost World, where a pair of chameleonic carnotaurs proceed to stalk their prey and hunt our main characters by using this genetic trait to blend into their environments. Anyways, with the release of this image, several Jurassic fans have been speculating on whether or not the dinosaur will be able to have this ability in the new Netflix show. The reason they wonder this is because, one, the Jurassic World movies have been pulling quite a lot from the novels with their new movie entries, and two, Carnotaurus is the animal that Michael Crichton gave that ability to in the books. So with a toy like this, I think the speculation is pretty well warranted. Now personally, I'm going to wait and see if this is something that will pop up in the new show. From the looks of it, this series is going to be targeting kids that are older than what we've seen shown off in the LEGO series, but still not really anywhere near as adult as what's going on in live action. Still, I think that the idea to make this a thing has been long overdue, and hopefully it will be the very best version of a Jurassic Park animated series that we can possibly have. Because over the last two decades, a lot of cartoon JP series have been canceled due to a variety of different reasons. Now, with all of that out of the way, what do you guys think about this news? What are your thoughts on the character designs for both the Carnotaurus and the humans? And what do you think about this new toy reveal? Could this mean that those Michael Crichton novel Carnos are on the way? Or is it just a clever reference that will only show up in the Mattel line? Whatever your thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game work as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video, and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.